Hey guys, hey guys, and welcome to another uh, Dark Souls video. I almost said Minecraft there. I'm so used to playing Minecraft videos. Um, yeah, <laughs> again, I want to start getting into the uh, the mood of playing different games because I feel like that would be the best for my channel, and I feel like other people would appreciate it more. Um, I haven't seen the comments for the first episode yet, so I don't really know how people are gonna like this series, but. Um, basically, if you don't really want to see it, um, you, don't, you don't have to watch it, you're not um, being forced to watch um, certain videos on my channel, uh, not at all. Um, uh, by the way, when you're parrying and backstabbing, uh, I'll finish what I was talking about in a second, when you're parrying and backstabbing, you're invincible, so if you're in a sticky situation like this, sometimes it's the best to just do backstabs, especially if you're game ganged up by a whole bunch of people and you see that that person can't even hit me oh oh how'd that hit me arrow very cool <laughs> anyways but um yeah so i do want to hear your feedback about um how you're liking this series and um, if you want me to play other games of course i'm open to suggestions um i have gotten this one comment uh i remember i got this one comment from one guy who gave me whole bunch of cool suggestions for games to play. Um, top of my head, I can't remember what his name was, but um, he suggested I play a whole bunch of different games. Um, I thought it was a great idea and everything. So uh, here I am playing other games. But let's move on from that little discussion onto the actual gameplay here. Um, yeah, so where are we? We are the second bonfire. If you uh, missed that little part there, all we did was come up from down there. That's basically. Um, oh. oh, come on. It's not cool. Ooh. Also, if you roll, you're also invincible for a split second, so you can do that. Roll right through the arrow. Another good trick. Oh, I saw that guy. Backstabbing two handed. Lots of damage there. And that's not cool. <laughs> uh, luckily, we can do one little blast. There is a shield right there that you can grab. Right there, you can see. It's a wooden shield. Doesn't do 100% physical damage, which means if you hold up your shield and someone attacks you, you're going to take a little bit of damage. Um, also, not good against fire um, for the reasons. Um, you know, it's made of wood, you're not going to be able to block fire pretty well, or very well, because, of course, wood burns in fire. Hmm. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Aw, uh, I tried to... I tried to kick him as soon as he was about to hit me, but... Um... Yes, yeah, so we could try to summon someone this episode, though I highly doubt that's going to work out, because... Um... I don't know, the PC servers aren't that great. Oh. PC servers aren't that great. And I was late. Nope. There we go. Again, spamming parries isn't the easiest uh, way to get parries to work. It usually doesn't work out, but that time it did. Uh, this is your first little mer merchant. Uh, merchant. Well, so. now. You seem to have your... Then you are a will. I trade for... <laughs> uh, the only things I want to buy from here are the residence key, so we can free a guy later on in the game. And I want to buy the bottomless box, and that'll be good for now. Does he sell? He does not. Um, Heater shield's not a bad shield. Hey, what? Um, what, they will the get a little mad if you run away before telling them bye. <laughs> I like that. But, um, th they won't, they won't. Uh, stop selling you stuff though if you do that. Uh, should we rest the bonfire again? We have eight flasks. Eh, let's go ahead and clear it out. Watch out for the fire guys up there, they'll throw uh, bombs at you. So. Also, again, when you're getting ganged up, you need to do backstabs because there are three guys in this room. Or there will be as soon as that guy enters. And you definitely don't want to get ganged up by all these people. Barely made that backstab. Oh, my frame rate though. frame rate though. <laughs> um, I'm actually um, rendering and saving another video. Uh, actually, the first episode for this. So, 
that would be why the frame rate is a little lower. Really got that. There's a guy right here. Nothing back here, but there's a guy, so you can just do that. And I guess get the extra souls. I don't know. There's not much of a point in going over there. It's just kind of like a, if you don't watch Let's Plays and you don't know what's going on, if you walk out here and you basically get right here, he'll he'll come right here and get you. So basically just a little trap or troll um, that Dark Souls put out there for us. Thanks, Dark Souls. Uh, again, another area to show off uh, how backstabs can help. Oh, and I missed that one. Trying to do all these backstabs without, uh, without locking on. Let's go for this guy because he's going to throw fireballs at us. I'm surprised I got that. <laughs> I'm very surprised. No. They will stun lock you with those attacks and just keep hitting you until you lose all your health. Uh, these guys don't drop that good of a loot, and so usually it's not that uh, worth it to uh, to get the stuff off them. But um, they do drop uh, shards, yeah, Titanet shards, which is basically how you level up your weapons and armor and uh, whatever else you want to upgrade. Um, that's how you upgrade basic weapons. But we'll get into that later on. Shoot. It's not gonna help you, buddy. <laughs> uh, by the way, I, I just let him heal, but you should usually, um, you should usually um, hit them. Yeah, hit them. That's what I'm looking for. Hit them <laughs> before you, uh, before they're able to heal themselves. Especially if it's a hard, hard guy. Again, this is. I'm surprised I got that because we're on a staircase, and usually that doesn't work out. Got it again. Awesome. Uh, there's a black knight right down there, but uh, I'm going to come back from later once I have the um, a special ring on that'll give me better drops. Now this right here is a trap. If you walk up the staircase straight on, you will get hit. There's a little trick that I'm going to do right now. Basically, you just roll into it and you won't get hit. Um, but you could just stand up here and run back down. Or you could shoot this guy and it'll also fall down. Uh, Havel is this way. Do we want to fight Havel? We'll come back for Havel. How about that? We will come back for Havel. Um, Gecko up here. I'm not going to kill him because I would like to come back with, again, a ring. He is in one of those barrels, so if you want to kill him. Geckos drop uh, rare items and stuff, and there's only a certain amount of Geckos in the game. But we're going to... Oh, yeah, I already have it equipped. Do we have any fireballs? We're going to do that. Get our fireballs ready. Uh, should we get our flask? Yeah, I like that. First little boss. Actually, yeah, it's 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 like the first main boss. The little tutorial area was another boss. Um, just come up here and get rid of these archers up here. Uh, now, the easy thing to do with this boss is to um, to do a lot of jump. Oh, that's bad. Oh, surprise! It didn't hit me. <laughs> do a lot of. Oh, you fell off. Nice. Do a lot of um, drop attacks on them. Is this guy gonna come up the ladder? Is this guy coming up? Oh no, he's gonna try to shoot at me. Yeah, again, just do drop attacks, uh, two handed like this, and you will um, be able to kill the boss pretty easily. Um, if not, fireballs also very handy for this boss. And then we also have lightning we can use on our sword. So. Get our flask ready. Let's not switch our weapon. Oh, we switched our weapon. That means the lightning went away. Shoot. That's fine. All right, now just run as fast as you can up here. Climb up the ladder. Run. We do have a tank build, so it should be a little... What's he doing? All right. Got him. Nice. Okay. And you can just keep doing that. Just watch out, because he will trap you right here easily. No, 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 no. He's gonna hit us off. Oh! He barely missed us there. Man. I am surprised that that did not hit us. Come a little closer. Come a little closer. Oh! <laughs> what? What is that? Where's he at? I don't even know. Oh, he dropped back down. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, let's, let's drop on him. 
Ooh. Okay, I keep switching my weapon, that's not good. Alright, let's turn and go at him. Definitely easier. Get off me, get off me. Let's try, let's try fireballs. Oh, it went right through his legs, didn't it? It also hit us. Alright, let's run. Run over here and try to drop on him again. Mm, no, 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 no. Oh, shoot. That's not good. Nope. Oh, my goodness. I've never had that happen before. I've fallen off before, but I've never, like, had him jump up as we're falling down. <laughs> that was definitely different. Man! Did I waste a fireball? I did. And the lightning. Hmm. You want to try to summon someone? Let's just try that real quick. <laughs> uh, if not, we can definitely go back and beat him. As long as we don't get invaded here, which we shouldn't, because we're only level 8. Um, and to invade someone, you have to be a lower level. But you never know, there are people who go through the game at level, like, 2 or 1. Just so they can invade people, like me, and try to kill them. Okay, let's see if any signs pop up. Are we going to be lucky? Alright, that's not good. What's going on? Alright, it looks like we're not getting anyone today. Sadly. Not seeing any signs. That's okay. We can, uh, can do without. Oh, and I forgot this guy doesn't have to open a door now. So watch out for that. All those people. Basically. This guy doesn't have to open a door anymore, so it's a little easier for them to get you. Again, does help. Nope, not what I wanted to do. Hmm, that lunge attack will getcha. Again, backstabs, very helpful, along with parries if you're filling up to carrying people while getting attacked. We're not going to worry about the guy in there. Hopefully he doesn't come out to mess with us. We're going to run in, and hopefully do what we did last time. There we go. Cool. Perfect. See how I'm parrying that guy, and the other guy's not able to hit me. Exactly what I was talking about. And backstab, backstabs, and parries. Very helpful, uh, especially in the beginning if you are having problems doing a lot of damage. Oh, I just noticed that we have 11 flasks. Ooh, 11 flasks. Basically, whenever um, someone kindles a fire like we did before, that'll give people who are online. A extra flask, so um, it'll, it'll help you out sometimes. If you're having problems with parries, or you really want to learn how to parry, there are a lot of videos uh, online about how to parry. Um, but my greatest tip is to um, aim for the hand. Try to parry the hand. If you look at the hand, whatever it's about to attack you, uh, I'll show that this guy. Look for the hand, and just try to parry the hand. Don't look at the sword. <laughs> look at the hand. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I promise me, it's, it's a uh, very good strategy to parrying. I didn't want to hit there, but... Aim for the hand. Parry the hand. And you'll usually get your parry every time. Um, again, with parrying, um, it doesn't work on all enemies. It's usually based on the height or the, the size of the enemy. If the enemy's your size, like those undead people. Uh, you can usually parry them, but if they are twice your size or a boss like this one, you will, of course, not be able to parry them. Let's just climb up here. Uh, looks like we got a humanity from a undead person as well. Uh, that happens every once in a while after you kill a certain amount of. Oh! No! 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 Oh! <laughs> um. After you, after you parry enough people, um, not parry, 
Sorry. After you kill a certain amount of people or whatever, sometimes they'll randomly drop you a humanity. So. And it'll go straight into your top left. It's not like it's a... Um, not like it's a... Um, actual piece of humanity. So let's try not to switch our weapons now. So let's go here. Get this guy. And let's try to do a lightning stab. This should get rid of about half his health, I would say. Because with the lightning... Along with our sword and the two um, two-handed attack, um, so that'll definitely help us get a lot of this health down. Oh, we still have it, and it, and mm, not quite. It's more like one third health. But let's see if we can get some more of his health done. Let's try to use this up. Oh yeah, we got this. We got this. Oh, there, look at that. That was easy. That was easy mode. <laughs> um, if you have problems with this guy, uh, I do suggest using lightning. There's another strategy I used on my first character on PlayStation 3 where you basically use your um, fireballs. You get on that ladder, you go to the top, throw a fireball at him, go down the ladder. He'll jump up there, he'll jump back down, throw another fireball at him. Keep doing that over and over until he dies. So you will need to buy some fireballs unless you have enough on you um, from this chest because the black fireballs will do more damage than the ones. But that is my little tip for um, those trying to get that guy. Hidden item in here, another soul. We'll probably use up the soul soon to level up, because I would like to start using my Zweihander. Cool German name there. Or at least I assume it's German. It sounds kind of German. Zweihander. I want to show off that weapon. I'm also about to get the Claymore. Uh, another cool weapon, though it's not am quite a strength weapon. Mm -hmm. Again, with this guy, push yes. Um, if you do answer no, I think he gives you another second chance, but there are a lot of instances in the game where if you say no, uh, there's no going back, so you will be stuck with whatever you chose. Uh, if you kind of skip this text and you don't know what to say, I would say Google. Google it. If you just skip through it like this and you don't know what to say, yes or no, say Google, um, or go to Google and say, um, Dark Souls. Should I answer yes or no to um, and whatever the guy is? Um, so. There's a dragon um, on this bridge. First dragon we saw before. So go out to that, about that black stain. Go back in. And you will see the fire comes out. And just staying around a corner or something. Alright, now the hard part. You gotta run through and hope he doesn't come out. If he comes out, we're gonna be in trouble. And you gotta go to the right right here go down here because he's about to breathe fire again all right keep going straight and you'll find in this game there's a lot of shortcuts uh, if you don't know where we are this is the second bonfire we were at so we'll just hit the bonfire here this is where we started before and we're gonna go ahead and uh, look at the stats of the Zavai Hander and see what we need to wield that. Uh, we need 24 strength, 10 dexterity. We have our dexterity, we need to see 24 strength. So that's what we should aim for, is 24 strength. Mm, get up to 20. Let's see what we can do with our souls. I want to use my Zavai Hander. <laughs> um, if you need souls, uh, and you don't have any soul consumables or anything, um, you can go up there where the dragon is, pop out, um, go back in underneath, and the fire or the dragon will spit fire or breathe fire, or whatever. Kill um, probably about 10 undead, and uh, you'll get about, I don't know, 500, 600 souls, maybe, maybe more out of that. And then you can come back here, hit the bonfire, go up and do it again, and basically going back and forth until you get the souls you need. That's one of the easy ways to farm souls um, easily. Uh, early game, though I will show you better ways later on. Okay, how many times can we level up? Looks like twice? No, only once. Oh, I don't know if we can do this. Maybe up to 24. Three more levels. Probably need about 6,000 souls. I don't know if we have enough. Come on. This will give us a little bit more. 18. Alright, we have four of these. These are large, so it might give us... Ah, yeah, we should have enough. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, maybe not. 
don't know. Ah, uh, looks like we're not gonna have enough. That's okay. We will get enough. <laughs> we can level up once or twice. Twice. One level away. Basically, we need 2,000 more souls, and we can use this fire hander. Uh, if you try to use this fire hander right now without like required stats, you will be able to use it, but it will be very, very bad. Um, as in, you won't have a lot of damage. Um, you won't do a lot of damage, and you'll be very slow with it, um, as I will demonstrate. It gives you a little warning message. You can still use it, but as you can see, that's pathetic. So, um, it's better off using your regular sword than to use this fire hander before you have um, the required souls. Pop out here. Quickly go right here. Hold your shield up just in case. Um, and you should be safe. Now you're just going to wait here. You're going to wait right here with your shield facing the dragon. And you're going to wait for the dragon to come towards you. Uh, this is one way to get um, to the next area. You can also go underneath it. You just see how there's two entrances. You can go underneath the bridge. Uh, there's some rats down there. Um, a way to farm, I guess, humanity. Early game. But it's easier just to wait for the dragon to come. As soon as the dragon comes, run around his feet. He won't hit you. And as soon as you get over here, quickly run to the right. Because he can breathe fire into here. And he will. Uh, if you wait right here, you'll see the dragon fly away. And if you hit his tail right here. Oh, if you hit it just right, you will get the Drake Sword. If you don't know what the Drake Sword is, an early game weapon that's um, pretty strong. It's a good um, starting weapon. Uh, it looks like you get 700 souls. Oh, actually, I think we had 200 on us, so that means we got like 500 souls from the fire. Pretty thing. Another little shortcut here. If you don't run through the dragon, you won't be able to open this and you won't be able to use this bonfire. So you'll have to use the bonfire down there. Um, but it should be safe to come out here. The dragon will be, will go away for a while, and he will come back, and we might come back to kill him later on. But that is a challenge in itself, especially if you want to use melee. Oh no! Uh, claymore, good weapon. It's based off strength and dexterity, though. Very able to use it, though. Uh, it looks like a heavy weapon. I would. I mean, I would say it was a strength weapon, but really it is a um, a strength slash dex weapon. So if you're leveling up your strength and your dex, uh, this would be a good weapon. Especially if you you can actually use this to end game. And a lot of people use this on soul level one or low level, not soul level one, low level um, builds will use this weapon. Uh, especially if you put fire on or lightning on it, which we'll talk about later. Rats are down there. This is where you come up normally. Head over here. You'll see right there, there is a bull. Um, we will fight him in a second. But if you see right over there, I don't have a bow on me, but if you see that guy right at the tip of my sword, uh, actually, no, it's that guy right there. There. That guy will run and close that gate on you, so. I'm hoping to just trigger him. Mm, switch to the. Sword that's not gonna make us. Okay. All right, if you run really fast, um, you just follow what I do. Um, run really fast, you can actually make it through the gate before he closes it. You're gonna see him as we jump, running in here to close it like that. Run, 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 and he will close it. Sometimes it'll hit the guys too, which is pretty funny. It happens. It'll close the gate, but you can easily open it back up. This actually skips a big part of the uh, the map. You're gonna need this key as well to open up uh, another part of the game. I'm gonna head up here real quick and grab the uh, halberd, another really good weapon, uh, especially if you're doing a low-level build. Um, when I say build, I mean character build. Uh, that's what they use to call it. These guys can be a little tricky because they will carry you. Just like I can parry him, he can parry me. Um, so watch out for that. I'm going to go ahead and open this back up. Looks like the bull has returned to its regular position. Now this is going to be a little longer episode just because Dark Souls can't really do much in 30 minutes, sadly. Um, so we're probably going to go for 45 minutes episodes to an hour, actually. So. Oh, the bull's coming. The bull's coming. Woo! 
Now we're gonna try to backstab this guy, because you can actually do that. Haha, <laughs> you can't get me, can you? I'm gonna get rid of these guys. <laughs> They're like in sync. Oh! <laughs> no, 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 no. By the way, their AIs, they will try to, they will try to kill you as soon as you... <laughs> nope. Alright. Okay. We're gonna go this way. Oh, do it, don't do it, don't do it. We're gonna go this way. We're gonna hit the next bonfire and then go back. Oh, look, there's a summon sign right there. Probably we were human. Mm hmm. Some of these guys will follow you to the end of the earth. Other guys will just follow you a little bit and then head back. Uh, to the original spot and wait for you to return. If you can hear the clanging of the, I feel like I'm a tour guide. <laughs> if you can hear the clanging of the um, um, metal down there below us, that is a blacksmith. Uh, you can use that guy to. Uh, um, oh! I've never had him follow this far. That's different. Uh, if he hit us, follow the time. But um, yeah, I've never had <laughs> never had the guy follow that far. But um. I meant to kindle. Yeah, this guy can upgrade your weapons. Um, by himself, he can upgrade your weapons to plus five. You have to give him an ember, um, specifically the large ember, in order to upgrade to plus ten. And then further on, you can get different embers to upgrade your weapons: lightning to plus fifteen, to fire, to uh, magic, enchanted stuff like that, uh, which we'll get into definitely later on in the game. Well, I'm not. The one thing I do want to save up from this guy, again, you can learn a gesture from him. Uh, one thing I do want to buy from this guy at some point, which costs 20,000 souls, seems like a lot, but it is going to be well worth it, is the Crest of Artorias. You will see why this comes in handy. You can also buy a smith box and repair box, which means that you can repair and upgrade your tools at your bonfire. Unlike now, where right now the only way for me to repair my tools is to come to this guy. Long sword. That was the sword I was thinking of. Um, we actually got a broad sword. That's the uh, sword that comes with the um, knight build uh, or knight class. But this one um, seems to rate the same. Uh, I would buy it, but I'm not going to use it. Oh, please there. Be careful. We'll do. You can also buy shards from him if you don't want to farm them, uh, which is probably what we're going to end up doing because I have a very very easy way to get souls, which I will show you momentarily. Uh, we're going to try to summon some guys while we're fighting these guys off, because uh, we have a black knight to fight up here. Probably going to go back. If we summon someone, we're all definitely going to go back and fight that bull, though we can probably, yeah, we can definitely fight him without needing assistance. Lots of summons here, also lots of invading though, so watch out for that. A lot of invaders here. Let's try some of this guy. Oh, cool. Yeah, he looks cool. That was kind of like a sideways theory. <laughs> he got taken out. You saw that some sign looked different, that's because he's part of the fire people. Sun bros, as they're called. All right, while that's going on, we're gonna go and fight this guy. Hopefully this isn't a big mistake. Um, if you remember when we ran down the first episode to grab that um, soul in order to upgrade our flask, there's another one of those right behind this guy. That's what he's guarding. It's actually, whoa! All right, that's not good. It's actually the, uh, the first one you're supposed to get if you go in the order of the game. But you know, whatever. Oh, of course it failed. Oh, we do na no damage to this guy. Oh, it's not that bad, actually. Oh, we stunned him. Oh, we stunned that guy. <laughs> Usually they have a lot of poise, which is what caused you not to be stun locked like that. Is he gonna do another one? No, he's not. Oh, he got us. Mm, 
rolling is another good way to dodge attacks. But since we're doing strength build, we probably won't be able to roll for long. Oh, we dropped Titan Shard, which we can use to upgrade our Swai Handa. Whenever we get that working. Which we actually have enough souls right now to go use it. Ooh, this guy has the um, Sunbro helmet. Oh, shit, that's good. You can kind of see an outline of what they, what equipment they have, so you can see whether or not you want to summon this person. We also have a soapstone, which we could place down if we weren't trying to summon someone. And people could summon us to their world, and we could help them fight their bosses and get through the levels and stuff. Also, a really good way to get souls. And here we go. Got a person into our world who's hopefully going to help us. And here comes other signs and stuff. Try some of this guy. And we can go ahead and go on. Um, let's go this way. Because I want to kill the... I want to kill... The... Um, what's it called? Boar! The boar. I want to kill the boar down here. He's up for a boar fight. <laughs> oh, here it comes whether we want to or not. Let's try to back this guy. How about it? Oh! First try, too. Gotta watch out for those archers, though. This guy will also do a back kick or whatever to protect against backstabs like that. Uh, there's only three boars in the whole game, actually. Um, there's only three boars, and they have a chance of dropping what they he just dropped. Awesome. Uh, and he dropped a longsword. Oh, no, no, actually, that was that's pretty good. He dropped a longsword. Let's, let's switch to that, and we can put on their helmet. Awesome. Alright. Oh, missed it. Oh, we're slow rolling now. Alright, we can go. We can go this way. All I want to do is kill the uh, four. Um, the thing about the long sword that I was wanting to show is that it has a nice lunge attack, like that, uh, which has more reach than it appears. Um, kind of weird how the game works like that. Uh, the sword will actually hit people farther away than it seems it would. Kind of thing. I don't know. Uh, watch out, if you go straight out here and wait too long, you will get... Oh, is there someone sitting there? You'll get hit by the blue magic guy. So you gotta watch out for that. Make sure you grab this. Uh, we're gonna take off this helmet, because I would like to move fast. While I still can. <laughs> Let's go and try to summon one more person. This guy has fought the gargoyles before. You can tell because he has the gargoyle helmet. And if you saw that little black thing, that's because we got humanity. Uh, as I was talking before, you can get humanity from certain enemies. Uh, that was one of those enemies. Now, the jester up here, you can see it kind of through the hole over there. That is what is shooting magic at us. And he will actually give all these little guys a little buff like that. Which means the guys hit twice as hard and have... I don't know if they have more health, but they, they definitely hit really, really hard. Which you know. They will definitely kill us really easily, and you know how long it took to summon these guys and you not want to die. So we're just going to lead him out. Watch our guy, make sure he doesn't die. There you go. Alright, he's dead. They will still have a buff for a while. Trapped. I'm trapped. <laughs> Perfect. Good, good job. That was good. <laughs> Alright, and we're about to fight the... I guess it would be the first big main boss, but really it's the third boss, I, would, I guess. Because you got the tutorial boss, you got the, uh, the one on the bridge. 
you've got, um, and then you've got this one. this one. But seriously, though, um, it doesn't really matter what order you go in. You do have to fight certain bosses to kill certain enemies, and that guy almost killed me. Again, that lunch attack is very useful because it puts some distance. To, whoa, put some uh, distance in between you and uh, him. Fake wall here, break it, and you can free a guy up there if you'd like. And he is showing us another thing. It's a humanity um, consumable on the ground. I want to make sure you pick up that. Run up here and free this guy. We're not gonna. Well, I'll talk about this guy a little bit later. We're just gonna free this guy. And we'll talk about him later. He's a not he's not that good of a guy. Thank you. I, I try. Yeah, I... Okay. Alright, so we're just gonna run over here and go ahead and fight the gargoyles. And that should be the end of this episode. Um Maybe we'll go back and get our Zweihander ready next episode. Let's go up here. And if you remember that guy who we got the white soapstone from, we are going to summon him and he's going to help us. If you're playing this game offline, you don't have internet or something, you're still able to have the multiplayer, not really multiplayer, but the um, people helping you, the summons and stuff. Uh, you're also able to have invading. And apparently we can't have this guy. Why is that? It's because we haven't... I don't really know. Usually you can summon the Sun Bro to help you, but in this case I guess you can. Let's put in, um, reload the game or something. If we reload the game, it would have came up. So what do we need? I guess this is fine. Alright, let's do this. There are two gargoyles who are going to come off. First one's going to come off, you're going to fight him down, gets to half health, and the other one's going to step down and help him out. So you want to kill the first one as fast as possible, so when the second one comes down, you uh, only have one guy to face, not two. This guy has a tail. Oh, and he has like 360. Oh man, he's almost dead. Mm okay. The other guy's about to come down, actually. Kill him. Kill him. Very nice. Alright, he's gonna be fire. That's his main attack. He can also jump though. He's missing his tail. So he can't whip you with it. And we're gonna bow quickly. Bow quickly. Okay, okay. The other guy will be able to see his screen for a little longer. He'll see us bowing, so. Just a little thank you to him. There we go. 15,000. 6,000? 6,000. 4,000 more, and we will be able to buy our, um, crest. So, I'll show that next episode. But to end off this episode, we're just going to run up here and ring the first bell of awakening. Um, if you want to know the storyline of this, basically, you have to ring the two bells. One is up high, and one is down low. Uh, that is what the, um, basically, one of the characters, um, NPCs tells you. Um, and this is the one up high. The one down low is with Quaylag and this lobby, lava pick thing, which we will uh, probably be our next, next boss, unless we, uh, unless I find something else to do in between. Basically, once you ring the two bells, uh, Sin's Fortress opens up, which is the test uh, in order to get to Anderlando, which is the city which is above this uh, place. This is basically where the peasants live, up there in Anderlando is where the gods live. Um, that's basically just the storyline um, for that. And I just got a achievement. <laughs> uh, be careful when you're using DX uh, fix if you're playing on the PC because if you do slide down these ladders with DX fix with 60 frames on, you will slide down the bottom so fast that you die. Basically, so definitely gotta watch out for that. This guy appears down here. Don't kill him. This guy will help you. Um, get rid of your curses and also if you accidentally attack an NPC and they're mad at you you can come here and ask for pardon and the NPC won't be mad at you anymore he also has uh, one of the best gestures uh, for um, PvP 
which I'll show in a second. Basically what he sells, um, Homer Bones are pretty cool. I'll show that in just a second, actually. I'll, I'll show that. Book of Guilt, you can put, um, basically, people invade you, can put them into the Book of Guilty. And these blue guys, um, part of a different covenant, which covenants I'll get into later, but um, they will come and attack the invaders. Actually, this is right here. And this is where you can see the indicted players of this. Not that confusing, but whatever. Also sells these rings of sacrifice. Again, he only sells one, so watch out for that. Um, actually, no, I think he sells ten. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this guy just sells ten, but they're five thousand apiece. So, um, yeah. You're not welcome. Then. <laughs> <laughs> it's got the coolest laugh. Um, anyways, I'll go and show the gesture. The well, what is it? Basically, if you have defeated a uh, a um, a guy, you can just do this, and it looks like. Well, yeah, you can probably see what it looks like. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and use our homeward bone. We got twin humanity from finding those two gargoyles. Uh, it's basically just a regular humanity, only gives you two instead of one. Use a homeward bone, and it will save all of our souls and humanity, and send us back to the last bonfire we stayed at, which was, of course, uh, the blacksmith. So that's gonna be the end of episode two of our Dark Souls heavy build adventure. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have, leave a like. Um, or if you'd like to see more of my videos, um, subscribe. I do a lot of gaming videos, or I'm going to do a lot more variety of gaming videos right now. I've mostly got Minecraft, Dark Souls, and um, you know, I'm going to put some other games out there, but for now, this is it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you've enjoyed. Yeah. <laughs> see you guys next time. Bye.